Eelgrass, yes. Salmon, yes. Eagle, yes. Those are the names of the two animals and the plant that we're gonna be looking at. Turn the page, please, Dan. This is an eagle. Eagle, eagle, what do you need? Eagle, eagle, how do you get it? What do you think the eagle needs to live and grow? Type that in the chat box. And how might you think the eagle gets what it needs? You can type that in the chat box as well. Eagle power. They need food. They need water. He hunts. That might be what the eagle, how he gets his uh, food. Mice is somebody had suggested. I see somebody typed water on. Hunting is how the eagle may get what he needs. Turn the page, Dan. Let's go a little bit further. If you look at this page, there are a few things that I want you to look at. So in the upper right-hand corner, in the upper left-hand corner, we see a drop of water. Can you find it? That icon means water. So water is something that the eagle needs to live and grow. Now go to the right-hand corner at the top. Do you see the colored circle? Can you find it? This colored circle means food or energy. Food is something that the eagle needs to live and grow. In the lower left-hand corner, there's a bunch of arrows. Can you find those? Those arrows and that icon means air. Air is something that the eagle needs to live and grow. In the lower right-hand corner, there's a shield with an anchor on it. Can you find it? This icon means shelter and protection. Shelter is the place that the eagle goes to sleep and for protection. So the words on the page say, I need water. In the upper left-hand corner, find the water droplet. And the eagle says, I need water. I fly to the water's edge to drink cool water. On the right-hand side, I need food. I grab a salmon with my talons and I eat it. Can you see the talons on the birds? Talons mean sharp claws. Now let's go below. I need air. I use my nostrils to breathe. Can you find the nostrils on the eagle? I need rest and shelter. I find somewhere to perch high. Look in the protection and sheltering place. See where the eagle is on a branch, perching. Perch means to stand on a branch. Turn the page, please, Dan. This is a salmon. Salmon, salmon, what do you need? Salmon, salmon, how do you get it? What do you predict that the salmon needs to live and grow, and how do you think the salmon may get it? Type that in the chat box, everybody. They need food. Yes, they do. Salmon need food. They hunt. Hmm, interesting. We'll see if they do that. Swimming. Salmon will definitely swim. They need food. They need food and they need water. I can see people typing in food and they uh, need digestion. Somebody has a big science word for us. Food and water. And if you get, uh, I can see they need shelter as well. So turn the page down. Look at the four icons again. Do you remember what each one means? One means water. Can you find the icon that means water? One means food and energy. Oh, look, the colored box has, the colored circle has changed. Hmm, I wonder what that means. Take a look at the, all the arrows. That one represents air. Find the icon with the shield and the anchor on it, and that means sh shelter and protection. So the salmon says, I need water. I open my mouth as I swim and I gulp water to drink. When I'm young, I need plants for food. I nibble on plants underwater. I need air, the salmon says. I breathe air from the water using my gills. And for protection, when I'm young, I need rest and shelter. I hide in the eagle, e eel grass so that the eagle won't see me. So turn the page, Dan. Let's look at our next plant or animal. So this is a plant. So now we're looking at the eelgrass. 
Eelgrass, eelgrass, what do you need? Eelgrass, eelgrass, how do you get it? So type in the chat box, everybody. What does an eelgrass need and how do you think an eelgrass gets it? I see air. I see the sun. You see eelgrass needs soil. Hmm, we'll have to see if what they need. Turn the page, Dan. So look for those icons again. Can you see the icon for water? Why don't you point to it? Find the icon for food and energy and point to that. Has it changed color? Why do you think the color may have changed? Hmm. Let's take a look at the bunch of arrows that represent air. Can you point to where the, the icon that represents air? And now let's find the icon that means protection or anchoring. That's changed too. Why do you think that that may change? So if you look at the food icon, which is the yellow circle, that means that the plants use the energy from the sun to make their food. And if you look at the, um, the shelter and protection that has changed, it looks a little different. Plants need to stay in the same place so they can get the sunlight. So they put down roots and they anchor them in place so they don't float away. So let me read this, the words to you now. I need water. I absorb the water all around me. <clears throat> I need energy from the sun to make food. I grow where the sunlight can reach me. I absorb air into my leaves from the water around me. I need resources to live, so I use my roots to grab onto the bottom of the river to anchor in place. Or let's pause for a minute. Why don't we stop the story for a moment and talk about what we learned in this last chapter? Will you leave that, Dan, for me? Do you want to talk a little bit about this chapter? Tell me what you learned in uh, the in the first chapter. Write some things in the chat box of what you learned in the river environment about what an eagle needs to live and grow, what the eelgrass needs to live and grow, and what the salmon needs to, to live and grow. Oh, I see somebody put a droplet of, that represents water to them. Good, do you see that some of the plants, the plant and some of the animals need the same things each time? So let's go on and see a little bit further. Let's go on to our next environment. Dan, would you turn the page for me so we can take a look at our next environment? So this is a desert environment. What plants and animals do you see in this environment? Type them in the chat box. Someone says a hamster, a cactus, a wolf. I can see squirrels. Someone else writes cactus. Pretty good. Let's take a look at the characters in our story that we see. So turn the page, Dan. These are the animals and the plant that we're going to investigate in this environment. Can you name them? Put the names of the two animals and the one plant into the chat box. So there's a cactus, there's a coyote, and there's a squirrel. Did you get them right? Excellent, let's go on and learn a little bit more about our first animal, who is the coyote. Turn the, pen, the page, Dan. This is a coyote. Coyote, coyote, what do you need? Coyote, coyote, how do you get it? Why don't you predict what you think a coyote needs and how do you think a coyote might get it? So I see someone wrote food. Someone wrote water. Someone wrote cactus. He needs to digest. 
The coyote needs meat? Hmm, let's take a look at what they are. So let's turn the page, Dan. Remember our icons? Can you point to the water icon? Can you point to the food and energy icon? Can you point to the air icon? And then point to the shelter and anchoring icon. Let me read the words. The coyote says, I need water. I dig holes in the riverbed to find hidden water. I need food. I sniff around and catch ground squirrels. I need air. I breathe the dry desert air through my nostrils. I need rest and shelter. I find shelter in a hole, a cave, or under a bush. Let's turn the page and take a look at our next animal. This is a ground squirrel. Ground squirrel, ground squirrel, what do you need? Ground squirrel, ground squirrel, how do you get it? Let's type into the chat box about what you think a ground squirrel needs and how do you think a ground squirrel gets it? Hmm, so a ground squirrel may be hunting around. I see Nico Kim says that this ground, predicts that this ground squirrel is a vegetarian and only eats uh, plants. Someone says nuts. Sometimes ground squirrels look for nuts. I see somebody had wrote water in the chat box. Let's turn the page, Dan, and take a look at it. So now we're gonna look at those icons again. Do we start to see a pattern now? Do plants and animals need some of the same things, even though they may be different? So find the water icon and point to the water icon. Find the food and energy icon and point to that one. Find the air icon and point to the air icon. Point to the shelter and protection icon which looks like a shield with an anchor. So the ground squirrel says, I need water. I get water from eating the juicy cactus fruit. Do you see those little reddish brown things on the cactus? Those are what the ground squirrel eats and they use it for water. And if you look at the next one over, the ground squirrel says, I need food. I also get food from eating the juicy cactus fruit. Both of those are really very good and they help the ground squirrel both get food and water in one, one type of uh, food. Let's now go down to the next one. I need air. I breathe the dry desert air. Can you point to the nose of the ground squirrel and where the ground squirrel might get his air? Let's go on to the next one. I need rest and shelter. I dig a burrow home under the desert ground. And that's what we see. So the ground squirrel will dig into the ground and find a place where they can feel safe and they can rest and sleep. Let's turn the page, Dan. This is a cactus. Cactus, cactus, what do you need? Cactus, cactus, how do you get it? Why don't we type in the chat box what we predict a cactus needs in order for it to live and grow. I see someone wrote air. I see someone wrote sun. I see somebody wrote air and sun. I see somebody wrote water. Excellent, excellent. Turn the page, Dan. So now I know you know where these icons are. So let's point to the icon for water. Let's point to the icon for food and energy. 
<laughs> Let's look at the I point to the icon that means air. Point to the icon that means shelter and anchoring. So let's read the words that the book says. The cactus says, I need water. I grow long, shallow roots that store water in my stems because there's very little rain in the desert. I need energy from the sun to make food. I make food from absorbing the sun's energy. I need air. I take in air through tiny holes in my stems. What that picture shows is a very zoomed in picture of the, the cactus itself. And on the surface of the cactus are these little holes that allow the air to come into the, the cactus. The next one says, I need resources to live. My roots help me gather the water and help the anchor me into the ground. If the plant doesn't have good roots, the wind will just blow all the, uh, the cactuses away. Let's go on to the next one. This is a sea environment. What do you see in the chat, in the chat box? Type what you see in the sea environment. Otters, I see somebody wrote otters. See somebody wrote kelp, that's good. They're very cute. Oh, somebody wrote urchin. So if you look down in the right-hand corner, look at those spiky things down there. Do you think they may be urchins? I see somebody said sand. Somebody sees the sun and clouds and rocks. You guys are really good. You could have very good observation of what you see in the environment. Let's go on to the next page, Dan. These are the animals and the plant we're going to investigate in this environment. Can you name them? In the chat box, type the, the uh, names of the plant and the two animals that we're going to investigate. Otter. Otter is definitely one of the, the animals we're going to investigate. Sea urchins are one of the uh, animals that we're going to investigate. And kelp. Kelp is the plant that we're going to investigate. Turn on to the next page, Dan. This is an otter. Otter, otter, what do you need? Otter, otter, how do you get it? Type in the chat box the things that you think that the otter needs to live and grow, and how do you think the otter gets it? They need air. The otter needs air. The otter needs food. So let's go on to the next page and look a little bit deeper about this. Now at this point, I know you know the icons. So you can see the water icon on the left, the food and energy icon on the right, the air icon down below the water one, and the protection and shelter on the right. So the otter says, I need water. I get water from the food I eat. Salt water is too salty for the otter. On the energy block, I need food. I dive down to the bottom to catch sea urchins. I bring them up to the surface to eat. So once again, just like the, the um, ground squirrel, the otter gets both its food and water from its food. I need air. I breathe through my nostrils when I come to the surface. Can you point to the nose of the otter and where he gets air? I need rest and shelter. I wrap myself in kelp to keep me safe while I rest. So the otters are both water animals, but they need air to breathe and they keep themselves anchored and protected by wrapping themselves into kelp. Let's turn the page, Dan. So I know some of you thought that the sea urchin looked like a flower, but this is actually an animal and we're looking at it from the bottom. This is a sea urchin. Sea urchin, sea urchin, what do you need? 
Sea urchin, sea urchin, how do you get it? Remember, a sea urchin is an animal. Type into the chat box the things that an animal needs to live and grow. It needs food for sure. It needs water. And it needs air. Good, let's turn the page. You know, you know these uh, icons. So let's just read the story. I need water, the urchin says. I suck water through my mouth and filter out salt. The salty water is no good for animals. I need food. I eat kelp when I crawl around on the sea floor. I need air. I absorb air through my tube feet. So look at that complicated picture. If you look inside, they suck the, the air in through the water and they filter out just the air that they need. I need rest and shelter. I crawl in between rocks to protect me from otters. Let's turn the page, Dan. This is kelp. Kelp, kelp, what do you need? Kelp, kelp, how do you get it? So kelp is a plant that lives underwater. Type into the chat box the things that the kelp needs in order to live and grow. I see people are writing food. I see people are writing sun. Sun is very good. I see people are writing water. So let's turn the page and learn more about our kelp. You know these icons. So the first one says, I need water. I get water by absorbing it through my blades. The leaves of a kelp, because they live underwater, are called blades. That might be a new word for you, but that's what we call the leaves of a kelp. The next one is I need energy from the sun to make food. The air pockets in my, my leaves help me to float closer to the sunlight. I need air. I absorb tiny air bubbles from the seawater. I need resources to live. I get them by anchoring myself to the seafloor with a hold fast, another new word you may not have heard, but a hold fast is like roots so that I don't float away. So remember, we anchor with plants so they can get the sunlight that they need. And that's the end of our story.